hello everybody thank you for clicking play this video is basically me doing a do-it-yourself photo t-shirt this photo t-shirt is super simple and it's super easy you don't need a lot of um supplies to do it all you need is an image so you're going to print your photo on regular paper no special ink no special printer print it on a regular paper and you're going to need saran wrap and you'll need either wax paper or parchment paper you will also need an iron or easy press a heat press something basically that will put the heat from the shirt i mean from the image into the shirt the video is going to show you the actual process but i wanted to make this video um to add to it so that um i can kind of explain a couple of things also if you notice that your shirt does not stick down you'll see it on the next next part but if you notice the shirt isn't sticking down you can always add another layer of saran wrap but remember um make sure that the saran wrap does not overlap the photo you want it to stop where the photo stops because if not you'll have like a, a film around the picture i mean you can peel it off but why peel it off when you could just make sure that you cut it right the first time so you want to cut it right and everything is going to look fine it is a little papery because remember this isn't transfer paper transfer paper is a little different it'll come out with a little better quality but for what we're doing and why we're doing it we're doing it quick we just kind of pass in time this is a perfect way to do um these shirts i'm wearing mine today and it wears well it's comfortable um it's not bad i'm gonna put a picture up so you can see it i'm wearing the camel one the one i did on the video was the white t-shirt i cannot attest to the durability because i don't know how long these shirts will last however it's super cheap and it's super easy to make it you'll you will be able to replace it if you do mess it up this is a great way to use old shirts and recycle them and put them to better use so overall, I love the process. I love my shirt. I'm wearing my shirt today to pay homage to my nephew that died. It's his birthday and I'm wearing a shirt. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment if you do have any advice as to how to wash it. I know some sometimes you can wash it inside out on a low setting and don't put it in the dryer. You can do that. Um, but if you know for sure you did it before because this isn't new this isn't something new this has been around for a while it's just i just saw it and i wanted to see just how easy it was to do so leave a comment subscribe to my page if you can doesn't really hurt it doesn't take long just press the subscribe button um and you can subscribe to the videos that i have thank you so much for watching remember comment like share um whatever while we're on our corona quarantine let's just make the best of our time thank you video on Pinterest that showed how to make a picture t-shirt without transfer paper okay basically all you need is a picture I printed out a picture of my nephews tomorrow is baby Jamal's birthday rest in heaven my little angel so I'm gonna make a shirt so that I can wear it tomorrow all you do is basically print it out on the on the picture that you want and you need to cut the white part off Cut the white part off. Cut all of the white off. Make sure it's a nice square. If you have like a little cutter, I'm sure it's pretty easy, much easier than using a little kindergarten scissors. Next step, saran wrap. Next you take the picture, place it face down. Fold it over. And fold it on this side. Make sure you wrap it pretty good. Fold it. Fold it until the picture is shiny like this. All right, you don't want any bubbles or anything, so just make sure you flatten it up. So once you get it, remember we're gonna put it on the parchment paper. You're gonna iron, iron it for the high on the highest setting for about five minutes. I have a heat press, so I am going to use my heat press to do it. Okay, so I have a little half shirt. And you know, in order to make sure you're doing your shirt right, right and to make sure you're fine in the middle, you always fold it. So after you do this, 
that's how you find the middle of the shirt and you can press down i have a timer but i really don't need the timer I'm just gonna hold it on a second just so that i can get the the line of the shirt to show up all right now we have a line of the shirt sorry if you can't see that well I'm doing horrible okay so i have it up i'm going to put the picture down and my line is where the middle is so i want to make sure the picture is centered as best as i can i never trust the lines of course oh no it's good actually And you put the parchment paper over it. Here is where you iron. Okay, so to show you, this is the shirt. And it did come out. The only thing is, it is a little stiff. I don't know if it should be like that. I am going to wash it and see how it comes out. But pretty much, this is the shirt. Looks pretty good. I'm going to wash it, and hopefully everything still looks fine. I'm going to let y'all know. I wonder if I should wear it before I wash it, just in case I mess it up. I don't know, but I'm about to wash it and let y'all know.